Hi, this is very exciting. I just got invited to a Kazakh Thule group, which is one of my favorite dungeons in the game. One of the most misunderstood dungeons in the game. The Gux of the world get all the love, but I really think for the original EQ, that zone, it's confusing on purpose. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's see what we can do there. Okay, in an Othul, this guy is being a little pushy. He insisted in not so kind terms that I get a port from South Row to Firat, which to me just seems ridiculous. That's like people in East Commons asking for a port to Lava Storm, which happens all the time. I understand why, but this is not a rush. This is not an Agathon raid, okay? I mean, there is some element of like, hurry up and get here, but take a chill pill, dude. So just cause I haven't shown this from South Row, I took a right, I'm hugging the wall. Oh my God, this thing's huge. Firat will be somewhere on my right here. And as I was running here, I thought about the name Enothul. Enothul Swamp. So I get why the swamp thing, you know, this is the southern part of Antonica. The Firat is a jungle, which you would assume is hot and humid, just like you would assume a swamp is. It's swampy. There's giant fungus men that are apparently KOS to me. But what I find interesting is that name, Enothul, because it's basically the combination of Enuric and Kazakh Thul. Which is perfect for the trolls, because if you're a troll, you can worship either Enuric or Kazakh Thule. I think you can also do Ralos if you're a warrior. But yeah. I, I wonder if that speaks to the struggle of the trolls to kind of find an identity. Because one of the things I didn't talk about in the last video with Lower Guck... Ah, here we go. Perfect. This is... This should be the Ferrat. Please let it be the Ferrat, because this guy's getting really impatient. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the Firat, and you immediately start to hear these jungle sounds. The Firat is like the ogre newbie area, and Othel Swamp is the troll newbie area. We all know this. Trolls were apparently kicked out of Guck, both lower and upper, by the frogs. At least that's what I read on the wiki, which I sort of understand, and later on when they make frogs a playable race, they have this whole thing where frogs occupy grob for a bit, and then you're in... Let me just send this guy. Then you're in... The trolls are in Wrath Mountains temporarily. Or I guess they kind of sort of relocate to Niriak as well. I don't know. It's... <laughs> I don't really understand the lore because when I'm in Lower Guck, there's no way I'm thinking, yeah, a troll could comfortably fit here. It seems like a tight squeeze. I think there's more to it than that. Some people might know better than I. But... That is a part of the the lore of this game that is definitely a hold to me. The frog locks, there's some sort of tie to Nathaniel Mar. I think that's why I'm KOS. Am I going the right way? I need to look this up real quick. Okay, I think I need to face this way a little bit more. Let's see, what is this? Southwest? Yeah, that sounds right. Because Kazakh Duel is in the middle of the zone. And as you're in this zone, you see a lot of these little lizardmen. That's kind of a hint. It's kind of like when you're in Quinos Hills, you see Noel pups walking around. That's because you're near the Null Zone, Blackboro. When you're in, you know, Fate Arc and even just all those newbie zones in Fade where you see those orcs walking around the orc, what do they call them? Pawns? Yeah. You're near the orc zone, Crushbone, which I've shown a lot. Okay, uh, what is it going to be down here maybe? Ooh. Well, the reason why we're seeing these lizards is because we're near the lizard zone. Thank God I have good swimming. There is an ogre guard that walks around here that I need to avoid. Let's see, I'm going southeast. And according to my map, that should be correct. If I start to see, yeah, this should be the break in the river where the lizard area starts. Yes, perfect, okay. Oh, that's the ogre guard I'm trying to avoid. Don't want to mess with him. So this should... It's raining. Doesn't help. This should take me to the part of the zone where Kazakh Thule is, which is kind of this weird little triangle in the middle of the river at the south side of the zone. Uh, would it be this way? Oh yeah, it is this way. Okay, this is Kazakh Thule. Yep, look at that. It's big. Okay, let me... Zoning in. Let's see if he can keep his pants on long enough. 
So these guys are all, they're dubious. Wow, I'm about to lose that faction. I did not think that it was possible to be dubious with these guys. All right, oh my God, that's a lot of Rubicite. And that's the name Rubicite. Here, I'll introduce myself. Okay, people need buffs. Let's see, what do we got here? That looks like a rogue. That also looks like a rogue. That looks like a bard. This is the guy that's been very impatient and he's running. He's so impatient, he doesn't even want my buffs. Okay, that's fine. So Kazakh Dhul, just to be clear, to, to broadly describe this zone, it's a maze. It's total maze. And there is a, a, a part of the zone that is literally a maze. Oh my... Okay, whatever. We've gotten this song on, so I shouldn't be casting spells. This is the maze. This is literally the maze. So apparently he's got buffs that are better than mine. So what do we got here? Almara, that looks like a rogue. Tidecaller's a paladin. What the heck? A clay golem. Ah, this is so frantic. This is how these groups are sometimes. Everything is just so fly by the seat of your pants. Okay, so bard, paladin, rogue, rogue. So we have crowd control, heals, that's me. DPS, tank. I'm okay with that. Oh, okay. I feel like the paladin is looking in a different direction. Okay. I kind of, I feel like he's got a Velius looking chest plate. I didn't expect this, by the way. I was just kind of chilling in East Commons, looking for something to buy. Oh, a, a hulking gorilla. Okay. Oh, it's blue. Good. What is that? A, a vindication. Okay. I think there is a dashboard confessional song with that name. All right. Well, let's see if anyone in this group can take my buffs. So we just went through this big maze and there... Does anyone need any buffs? I don't understand. And how is she getting hit? Oh, because she's off tanking. Okay. I guess our bard isn't a lizard fanatic. That I think is a cleric. Just go ahead and root that. Nope, I can't root that. I feel like none of my spells are landing. This is so frantic and chaotic. And the rogue is still off tanking. Here, let me try to root this guy. Maybe the bard can't uh, mez yet? I thought that was a skill they got pretty early, though. So you come in Kazakh Duel, you go through this maze, and the maze can take you to a variety of places. One of them is actually where the wizard port in is. Let me sit down in the med. Actually, let's take a sneak peek at how good the loot is here. I'm gonna guess it's, oh, okay. I was gonna say it's less, it's lower than lower guck. So I would call this zone somewhere between upper guck and lower guck in terms of level. Does no one wanna loot all this cool stuff? Cause uh, do I do I want that? I don't know if I want that. Oh, what the hell? I'll take one. I mean, it can't hurt, right? Worst case scenario, it's for some quest that I don't need. Uh, let me quickly ask the group. Let me use my keyboard that doesn't make all the noise because I know that bothers some people. So, I would say this zone is is probably between 30 and 40. You could come here a little bit earlier than that. I wouldn't come here any earlier than 28. Maybe the entrance trash is about 25. Okay, I thought fanatics might be clerics. Now I'm thinking it's it's this one. I'm thinking it's zealots, but I don't see him casting a spell. Ooh, here's a little sneak peek. Look at this. No mode activated. So this is part of the zone that is... I, it, it just seems to be different. Look how deep all this goes. Look at that ladder over there. It seems different from how the zone introduces itself. Where you've got this open courtyard, which we very quickly ran through. Okay, we're moving. We're still moving. Okay, so we're going to this temple here, which is within Kazakh Duel, which itself looks like a temple from the outside. So there's that whole underground sewage area. Zealot first. That must be the caster. 
The whole underground sewer area is where there are alligators and I believe the avatar of Thule is down there, which is really cool because, let me just see if this lands real quick, this AC buff. Okay, so the AC buff is landing. Maybe I should do that on everyone. The Avatar of Thule is really cool because it was the game's introduction to... We're not going to show you this god yet, but we're going to show you his Avatar. Oh, come on. And I thought that was really cool because they ended up just using the model for the Avatar of Fear. I call it the Avatar of Thule. It's the Avatar of Fear. As Kazakh Duel, which they should have because... What did I just get hit with? Why am I getting hit? Okay, a Justicar is absolutely a cleric. <laughs> well, I just rooted one that was definitely in camp. Yeah, we're getting quite a few... Uh, oh god, we just got another Wanderer. This is not going well. This could be another death. <laughs> Don't let this be another death. Please let Tidecaller get some hits because he seems well equipped to tank. It's really hard to explain the Avatar of Fear when you're out of mana. I think I have about, I think I have some. Okay, six, I said nine. Let's just see if we get through this before I start explaining more. Okay, things are still a little dicey here, but one thing I've decided to do, just like in Lower Guck, I moved this to the middle of the screen just so I could keep track of everyone's health more easily than having to look all the way over to the right side. I've decided to make it even more standout-y by hitting texture. Now that is just straight up unreadable to me. So then what you do is tint color. I just picked this darkest option because it allows me to see people's names the easiest and I think it kind of matches with, you know, like the background and all these Velius windows. What am I hearing? Radius of Fear 2. Is that like a, a wave of fear spell that they cast? The XP here is fantastic. Is it really? All right, I've already gotten like almost half an orange. We just got here not that long ago. I'll take it. And I can't cast that. Almost. What, what do I have here? 12%? That's not enough to cast Greater Heal. Am I wearing all my wisdom stuff? I still don't have... And none of this is wisdom, really. Okay, I should be able to cast it now. I still don't have a wisdom range or secondary slot, which I really need to get. And I mentioned at the end of the last video, I was trying to do a quest this video that was going to be potentially out of my level range. Well, I feel like an idiot because I looked up that quest as I was preparing to film today and I realized that is not a range item. It is a secondary slot only, which pissed me off because they make it look just like a range item. And they do this with a couple of items and it just makes me think that they're trolling you. I like, I really thought, I really thought that this item was a range item just based on how it looks. And there's a couple, there's like Platinum Dragon Totem looks like it should be a range slot. There's a couple that they make look like a range slot that ends up being a secondary slot, which you would never use as a secondary slot because you're used to having at least some armor class and more wisdom for your secondary slot. Do I have this open twice? Oh, well, that's weird. But for a range slot, it's acceptable. And you're like, oh, that's a pretty good range slot. But for a secondary slot, I would never put it in my secondary slot. There's so many items like that. It makes me feel like they're trolling us. Why, why is he attacking the bard? The paladins were pretty dang good at getting aggro. And I'm back to what? 6% mana, and now my thing is fading. Hey, do we have, like, Mana Song? Do I need to be closer to the Bard? What's going on here? Let me get some of that Mana Song. All right, I think we finally have a little reprieve here, so let me let me met up a minute, and then I'll talk about the Avatar of Fear and why I like him so much. Okay, we're back on the move here. I realized I lost Spirit of Wolf, but other than that, I think I'm okay. We don't have anyone in the group that can cast Spirit of Wolf, which sucks, but we're not even a full group yet, and, and I say yet, I don't know how we can really add anyone. We would have to go back to the entrance. I'm not opposed to it, I'm just saying. So, Avatar of Fear lives inside a big bubble, and it's not that bubble, it's a different bubble. It might be over there. I can't get the full picture yet, as you can probably tell. Oh, I think it's, I think it's, it might be in there. 
I remember it being a big green bubble. Anyway, they designed this model that is basically a miniature version of the actual Kazakh Thul, the Lord of Fear, which you see in the Plane of Fear. And this whole zone, this whole temple, everything about this zone is designed to be an homage to Kazakh Thul, the God of Fear. This is where they're supposed to worship the God of Fear. This is like his most religious followers home. And it's not a coincidence, by the way, that these lizards, which are the primary occupants of this zone and the primary worshippers of Kazakh Thul, and they were created by Kazakh Thul, kind of look like a, a pre, like an early version of the Ixar. It's not a coincidence. You know what I should have up here? Probably a stun spell. I don't think I'm going to be casting a whole lot of... Uh... Why is that down? When the hell did I cast Divine Barrier? Oh, add. These things kind of look like Ixars, right? I mean, Ixars look a lot better than these things do. You, you couldn't design these as playable character models. But go ahead and toss this guy a heal. It makes sense that Ixars basically look like better versions of these, and these are related to Ixars. Both Ixars and Lizardmen here were created by Kazakh Duel just in different parts of the world. Totally makes sense. All the gods tried to make creations and deposit them on different parts of the earth. The Norath, not the earth. <laughs> Norath. Because they wanted their creatures to be seen far and wide, or in the case of Brel, underground far and wide. So, you've got the lizard men here. They're worshiping Kazakh Thul. The Avatar of Fear is in this zone. And by the way, if you're wondering, yes, Ixars that come here, they are KOS. Even though they follow the same god, they follow Kazakh Thul. Every Ixar has to follow Kazakh Thul. You have no choice. There's no Agnostic. There's no Ralasek for the Warriors. It's all Kazakh Thul. Unlike the trolls that we just talked about, which are kind of an iffy thing. And it makes me wonder if the trolls were, I think they were created by Kazakh Duel, but at some point they had some sort of, oh, I fell. At some point they had some sort of uh, flirtation with a Nurik, or it could be the other way around. Could be that they started, oh, where are we going? Which way are we going? Er, die soft skin. Let's just go ahead and uh, root this guy that's hitting me. If you're wondering, this is live commentary. That's why it's so chaotic. I'm trying to explain things and he'll keep people alive at the same time and apparently do a little crowd control so i like this guy's name rish okay root wore off is that because someone replaced it or is that because it just wore off i'm gonna root this guy just in case maybe i should use instill it landed so what is hitting me another one oh my goodness Okay, someone else must be rooting because it's wearing off real quick. Also, these things are about even or yellow, which means my root is not going to last as long. Let me actually toss this guy one more heal. This is one of the things that sucks about being the only healer in the group. Granted, we do have a paladin, and his lay hands is up, but is a paladin really a healer? I mean, kind of, at later levels more so. So, I just want to talk about real quick, if I can get a second here to talk... Let me tell them what my hit points or my mana are. The Avatar of Thule model, I think, was designed to be Kazakh Thule if they were to ever implement Plane of Fear. Because remember, this zone is part of the original EverQuest. The original EverQuest, there was no Plane of Fear. There was just the three continents, Otis, Antonica, Fedor. This is on Antonica. There was no Plane of Fear that was added later. I think that they thought, okay, look, we'll design this model for the Avatar of Fear, we want people to think, hey, this is what Kazakh Duel looks like. This is just a tinier version of him. And if this game is successful enough that we end up designing a Plane of Fear down the road, which we plan to, we'll just use the same model. We'll blow it up and be 30 times the size or whatever it is. Probably not that big, but why? How does this guy have an AoE stun and I don't have an AoE stun? Or was that a single target stun? He just chose me as his aggro source. If so, props to him. What are these things even con? Even, wow. That's awesome, that's good XP. So, we are in the Temple of Kazakh Thul, and we have a miniature version of the Kazakh Thul. That is what I was trying to say. All right, let me get back to trying to keep these people alive. 
Okay, we're on the move again. We just looped around that corner and I'm hearing water. Like, like running water. Like waves. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. I'm absolutely going to sit here for a second. Oh, come on. I can't see through when I'm sitting. How the hell is Divine Barrier up? I don't remember casting Divine Barrier. What is it, number three? No, that's bravery. I think that's because that's where I normally... I, I did not mean to hit Divine Barrier. Don't know why that's up. Okay, well, while I'm healing, there is a portion at the top of this pyramid where I think you can jump down there. Maybe we'll find out because he said the name of this camp is... I need the mid. Is arch top? Does that mean the top of this big thing here? Like, could we potentially go through that little hole? Because I would love that. I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned. Gotta heal this guy. Who's this? One of the rogues? We should have a lot of DPS with two rogues. Why are they on opposite sides? I don't understand. Okay, I feel like we shouldn't be moving when I'm so low on mana and I'm pretty much the only healer. I just asked this Tidecaller guy if he followed Prexus. And the reason why I thought that is because his name, Tidecaller, has to do with the water. I wonder why I was hearing that water sound. I really don't know. Okay, this is a pretty good view. So you can kind of get an idea of how big this temple is from this angle. And let's see if we go this way. There are parts of this zone that look like they should be bigger from either smaller from the outside and then you go in them and you're like wow that's a lot bigger or vice versa and that is part of the trickery slash confusing nature of this zone a lot of people do not like this zone and one of the pieces of evidence for that oh what is that a lizard deal it one of the pieces of evidence for that is the fact that they ended up revamping this zone later on. They typically only do that if people aren't using the zone, and I don't blame people for not using this zone. I think it was around either late Velius or early Lucklin that they revamped it. It might have been Planes of Power, I don't think it was that late though. But they, they turned it into like a 55 plus zone. Part of it is that people just didn't like this zone, like even early on in this level range. I felt like people were more likely to go to either Split Paw, or Unrest, or Miss More or even the early parts of Lower Guck or the later parts of Upper Guck than Kazakh Thule because this one was just seen as confusing. But the other part of it is people just didn't think the loot was worth the effort. I mean, it is a bit of a hassle. Let's see how far over there I can get a glimpse. I only see one mob up there. And I think one of the reasons why people didn't think the loot was worth it is because compared to Lower Guck, Sol B, some of the other zones that you could kind of see in the same level range as this. The loot isn't that great. I can't think of, like, the item that comes off what I would call the boss of this zone, the Avatar of Fear, it's like a 519 one-hand slash. It's not great. And it just, it's like, what? how is that the best item? It's not the best item that drops in the zone, but it's the highest level mob that drops the item. There are some good items in the zone, but you also have to ask the question, is the juice worth the squeeze? It's not that hard to get to Lower Guck. It's not that hard to get too far into Lower Guck. Plus, it helps that other players are there. But when you start talking about how hard is it to get into the, the sewers of Kazakh Duel, it's pretty damn hard. I don't know how far Invis takes you. That might help. I do feel like it's a lot of druids and shamans that are soloing the bottom parts of Kazakh Duel. I need to look up what the big item is here that people like. It certainly isn't those Claws of Duel. Those are okay pre-Kunark. They're not great post-level... 40-ish. I mean, no one's using that over a short sword of Yakisha or whatever, even pre-Kunark. Okay, I think we're on the move here. Let's go on up these stairs, my little legs, and get this view going. And get this view going. And we got another one. A Zealot. See, the thing is, ooh, a Crusader. That's got to be a Shadow Knight, so that probably harm touches. I like this little, like... Okay, the other thing I was going to say is, with the whole temple design, and I, I should stay close to this bard, huh? Because he's got the mana song. She, it. It's funny that their name is Rubicite, and they've got, like, full Rubicite armor. So Rubicite armor is armor that used to drop in the original EverQuest. They took it out of the game. I guess because they thought it was 
I mean, the breastplate had regen on it, so I could see why they would call that overpowered. But the other items were just red. They didn't, they were just like fine steel plate, but they were red and they dropped here. They took all that out of the zone too, out of the game. I don't know why. I don't know why they couldn't have just taken the breastplate out and said, hey, we think this thing is too OP. Why were the other armor pieces OP? They didn't have regen on them. Two adds. Not good. Can't this bar do something? Besides Nana Song, which I do appreciate. Holy moly, this person's dropping in health. Oh no, Someone, it must have been a harm touch. Yep, this is not looking good. Uh, I'm just gonna real quick hit this, just to get aggro off of me. So, I need to heal this. Who is rich? That's one of the rogues, okay. Sticky situation here. Crusaders are big daddies, they F you up real hard. I think that's because they're Shadow Knights. Yeah, they do harm touch, so they are Shadow Knights. Uh, can I get this last heal off with 20% mana? Let me get this guy over here. And then I can go to the stairs and med. Okay. I do not think it's worth killing that pet. But I guess if the others are mezzed. Why does this water sound so loud? I don't understand it. So anyway, what I was going to say was not only do these creatures remind you of the Ixar, but given that they are lizards, and they were made by Kazakh Ghoul, and they seem to worship slash live in this giant pyramidish temple that kind of looks either bigger or smaller on the outside than it actually is, what else does that remind you of? Huh? You want to think about it? I'll give you a couple of seconds. I'll give you a hint. It's in an expansion that came out after Belius. It totally reminds me of the Shisar in Luckland, who were also made by Kazakh Thul, although they rejected him as their god at some point, which I think is one of the reasons he got mad at them. Makes sense. They lived in a temple that, if you look at it in the gray, it looks tiny. You go in there and it's massive. It's the same kind of idea. I love that they kept these themes up throughout the game. Like, Kunar comes out, they make something that is along the lines of this, right? These lizards. Let's see what, how much mana I have after this. I have 6%. Probably 7 by now. So they kind of tie the Ixars and Kunark to the lizard men that you see in Kazakh Duel. And they were also made by Kazakh Duel. They were probably made before these lizards, lore-wise. But you also then you get Lucklin, and you have the Shisar, who also live in a pyramid-type temple, who are also made by Kazakh Duel and also have scales. I'm just gonna go ahead and loot some of this real quick because I need the plat. All right, 50 mana. He's decided that's enough. This guy kind of reminds me of the, uh, from the lower gut group, the Necro, because the Necro was like the spiritual and actual leader of the group. But he's the one that invited me. He was the one that was kind of barking orders at everyone. And understandably, every group needs a leader. There's leaders and there's followers. This guy is like that. He invited me to the group. He pretty much demanded that I get a port here, which I did not do, but I didn't tell him that because I didn't want to cause an argument. <laughs> My wood elf is showing, that's funny. Uh, is that a single? Because I think we can do it. Oh, here comes one down the stairs. Can we avoid getting both, maybe? Damn it! Just read this ad. Yeah, this guy reminds me a lot of that necro. Good thing, unlike my druid character, my root does not break mez. 
I think he is mezzing. Take that. See, and now he's telling me, oh no, that's the bard telling me to save my mana for heals. And he's kind of twinked like that Necro, so he really is the spiritual successor to that Necro from a couple weeks ago in real life. I don't know when this video is going to come out. I will say I'm really glad I, that I'm getting to show Kazakh Duel, because I was worried that I was going to surpass the level range that this zone is appropriate for. And I was also kind of worried that no one really uses this zone in this level range anymore, because... I did get an invite to this group a while ago, but since Velius has been out, I feel like... I mean, how many people are even in this zone right now? 13? I feel like not a lot of people use this zone. So I'm glad I got to show it, and I'm hoping that we're going somewhere cool. Because I also didn't want to do it if all we were going to show was... The... Come on, what? I don't understand why... What is my number two doing? Oh! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Ugh. What is wrong with me? I have been casting... What is that? Divine Barrier? Oh my god. I meant to have my, my smaller heal up. What is it? Regular healing? That is supposed to be there. I can put Divine Barrier... I guess here. Ah, oh, I feel like an idiot. That's why I've been accidentally casting. Oh, I didn't aggro that lizard fanatic. That was so close. Why Why is she going after it now? Maybe to charm it? So chaotic. This is the thing about live commentary that can be kind of chaotic. So I got invited to this group when I was about level 28. This zone, I should say. And... There's a temple area that you can go to that doesn't look like this. It's mostly gorillas. I kind of wanted to show that, but I wasn't sure that's where the group would be. And I would say for like around level 30, that's more likely what you'll see. Whereas where we're going to, I feel like it's more 35 plus. So I'm hoping I get to show something cool. I'm so glad that I'm not accidentally casting Divine Barrier anymore. I was so confused why that kept going off. It's because I had it in this slot, number two, which I normally have for heals because I was soloing. I feel like an idiot sometimes. But these things happen. You know, we all make mistakes. Just, you know, when you're a cleric, those mistakes tend to get amplified. <laughs> so we continue to snake along this temple, which is the only way to go up here. And I, again, I don't know how good invis would do. I mean, we are all getting XP, so there's no reason for us to skip this. I'm about to ding, too. Wow. But... The way to go up here is to just snake around, and eventually you get to the top. And I think when you get to the top, you can go down that water thing right there. Wow, look at this guy barking orders. He's not even saying, can we get levitate? He's saying, give us levitate. Okay, we're doing something weird here. He's saying, get on top of this ramp and run across here with levitate. Whew, I was kind of worried. Oh shit. Uh, this is bad. I need to root this thing. Dang! He casted Wrath on me. Okay, now I'm definitely wishing that I had Divine Barrier. And I'm dead. Damn it. As soon as... Oh, I'm not dead! I thought I was dead. I was just unconscious. Am I dead now? I don't even know. What is going on here? Now I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> That was so weird, and I'm hearing this annoying water sound. Okay, did I ever get a con on that thing? Because... I don't know how many things had aggro on me there. I was only getting hit by one, but I rooted it and root didn't land. I'm worried it was one of those yellows. But as soon as I ran across that thing with the levitate, I got aggro, so... Well, here I am back in Steamfun. 
can't say that was my best performance as a cleric. Okay, well, this is crazy. So not surprisingly, one of the members of the group had a higher level cleric character that tried to come and res me, because I'm the only one that died. This is common on this server because a lot of people that I'm playing with in this level range are probably alts of higher level characters and not mains like I am. However, that higher level cleric apparently died on his way to try to res me, so that sucks. And that kind of tells you how dangerous that zone is. Like, just because you're 20 levels higher than the mobs that are in the zone doesn't mean you're immune to getting your ass kicked when you get swarmed by them, and clerics, of course, can't invis themselves. I've been meaning to buy a bunch of invis potions just for situations like that. So anyway, I dropped because I've got a hoarder coming. This guy, Elendar, which thankfully he's doing a what they call a corpse run for it, which means I'm naked, as you can see. And I'm not going to tip because I don't have any money on me. And he's okay with that. And I used to be in... <laughs> apparently ported to the wrong zone. I used to be in dial -a port I mean, I still am on... on one of my characters on the blue server. Corpse on ports are very common. He even said there's a bunch of people asking to go to Fear Art right now. But I don't know what's going on, but yeah. I'm gonna get a port there, and I will show the run from the Druid Ring in Fear Art to Kazakh Duel once I get that port. All right, here he is. Oh man, he's decked out in this crystal chitin? Chitin? I can't, someone commented on my last video telling me how to say it. He looks awesome. My Druid on blue server kind of looks like this, except a different color hair got like the black hair and I don't think I have quite as much crystal chitin armor I'm gonna say I can't remember how to say it right all right so from let me thank him okay so the druid ring is kind of close to the fear uh south no a no thule swamp zone so the best thing to do it actually would be to head southwest no that's not the right way where, where, where am I going here West, so southwest is that way maybe? Okay, southwest from the Druid Ring will take you to Kazakh Duel. You know what I should have asked for? Was an invisibility. However, I think my group is going to be at the zone line. At least I'm hoping. <laughs> that Druid said don't die this time. I mean, yeah, ideally. All right, so... The river should be around here somewhere. I continue to be thankful for my high swim skill. That's south, I need southwest. There we go, okay. Here's a river, and here's Kazakh Pool. Great. So I don't know if I'm gonna get a res from that cleric or not. I mean, it's possible. I think the cleric was trying to res me at the spot that I died at, which is part of the problem, or nearby. And now I'm guessing I'm KOS to these guys. Oh no, I'm still dubious, wow. Makes me wonder if the faction that you get in here applies to outside. I, I mean, these are clearly on a different faction. All right, let's see where my corpse is. If I can't get a res, it's really not that big a deal because the XP here is so good. I mean, look, at I'm at 80%-ish, 82%. It really wouldn't take that long for me to hit level 33. I just need my corpse and my group. So apparently this is the cleric that was coming to res me and she died so <laughs> we're in the same boat <laughs> we're both standing at the entrance of uh Kazakh Thul, and we have the same gear too look at that let's see if we can maybe both get our corpses dragged to the entrance and both get a res that'd be fun all right finally some resolution here the cleric's corpse just arrived the higher level cleric that came to res us and then my corpse is right there Apparently the paladin is gone. He just got a port from the maze to Greater Fate Arc. I guess I'm about to get the res. I don't know if the group's gonna survive. I just wanted to show this real quick. This is right at the entrance, okay? I'm using my gnome powers to look through. You can see that little tunnel down, water tunnel down. You can also see that the entrance is right near a ramp that goes down here, which is kind of cool. But, it's so deep. I mean, look at, look, where is that? that? That seems so far away. And here you can see a lot of these crocodiles that are swimming. They're swimming pretty fast, too. I think that the Avatar of Fear is somewhere in that area, but I don't know, and I don't know that we'll get there. Let's see if I get a res here. That would be wonderful. Okay, I think I'm getting my res here. 
Apparently there was some drama. I don't even know how to describe this. So we had a necro at the beginning. Ooh, 96%, heck yeah. Oh, I should have had that up so we could show it. I only have left that on my corpse. Let me give my thanks here. We had a necro at the zone in that was going to join our group. And as the rogue ran by the necro, the rogue that was dragging my corpse and the cleric's corpse, the rogue asked the necro if they could have an invis versus undead, and apparently the necro just ignored them and ran away. That pissed off this rogue, Elmara, who said, I'm not going to group with that person because they didn't help me out by giving me that IVU, IVU meaning invis versus undead. And apparently the rogue says they don't like the paladin that was leading the group, uh, Tide Caller, because they've wiped with them five times today. So there's all this drama going on. I don't even understand. I don't know. I think the group is done. Oh man. Welcome to uh, welcome to P99. Welcome to EverQuest. <laughs> I mean, I, I still came out of this with some XP. Ooh, who's this? Oh, that's Omar. Okay. Hit me up if you need some DPS though. Times two rogue is crazy upon the group. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think the group is done. I don't know that I'm adding anyone from this group onto my friends list. I guess I'll add Almara. But <laughs> Paladin, Paladin barking orders. The people not getting along with other people that aren't casting in business and dev. What a bunch of drama. All right, well, I need to figure out where I'm gonna get level 33 because it clearly is not gonna be here with no group. Come on over and warm up by the fire with old Jamesy. This is not how I wanted to end this level, but it's how it's gonna be. I wanted to show more of Kazakh Thule. Unfortunately, that group did fall apart. And, you know, I've got a couple ideas for next level where I wanna go. If I get an opportunity to join another Kazakh Thule group, I will do it because I want to showcase more of that zone. And I don't think that the revamp ever happens on this server, P99, the 55 plus Kazakh Thule revamp. So, Gotta go back while I can still get XP there. Don't know if I could ever realistically go there solo. All right, so I talked last level about the Gypsy Will-O-Wisp quest and how it's still relevant at level 32, both financially and XP-wise. So let me show you. I know I'm very close here. I have all these combination of regular light stones and greater light stones. Now you can turn these in in either South Row or North Karana. North Karana is way easier because these gypsies, they're not KOS to anyone. They don't have any faction really that you start out KOS 2 anyway. Like, you could be an Ixar and do this. They'll take your light stones. But, ooh, there's another Will-O-Wisp. Let me kill that. But the South Row ones, I had to do a decent bit of faction to get them to accept my light stones. I did the Red Wine quest in Niriak Third Gate. It wasn't too hard, but you might have to do some faction work just to be able to do that quest. So keep that in mind. This is still good at level 32. It's really good in the teens. Heck yeah, greater light stone. Okay, this alone might ding me. So this is all tied to this research quest for intelligence casters. You go to this one, Mercilla, Mrysilla. Don't know how to say that. Okay, so she gives you this, which is a concordance of research. It's actually a container. So as the game will tell you, you cannot place a container inside of a container. If you're not an int caster, you don't need to worry about this. Just sell it. Nine plat, four gold. That is really good. You do that. Now, that sells for nine plat, four gold, but this light stone, A, I think it gives less experience, the regular light stone, as opposed to the greater that I just turned in. And B, you get this crappier item that sells for less. I think it sells for like nine silver, yeah. So not even one gold, almost a gold. Way less lucrative than the graders, but it's it's a gamble. When you kill a Will-O-Wisp, you never know what you're going to get. I happen to get a greater there. And there's my ding. <laughs> I, it's so pathetic to ding from turning in light stones at level 32. But I'll take it. And I'm still probably getting decent XP at level 33 now. Just finish selling these. Okay. So... Those little books from the regular light stones, you can just stack them. These ones, you gotta sell. I, are they lore? They're not lore, so you can collect a bunch, but they require an open general slot, so. Most people don't have too many of those lying around. And I got 530 plat. Not just from these turn-ins, but just in general. I should be able to afford my level 34 spells, which are coming up. And then, of course, sell these. 
Unless you need them. I, I, honestly, no one needs those, but the Concordance of Research, you can create spells if you're an Incaster. And that might not even be for all Incaster classes. It might just be for Wizards or Enchanters. I don't know. Anyway, got a few ideas for next level, but also open to going back to Kazakh Duel. So if you are in your early to mid-30s and you want to do a Kazakh Duel group, send me a tell or leave a comment. Because I do want to go back. 811. Not bad. Until next time, I will see you next level.